My mother was Lucia Kowalik. She was a very well-known housing activist here in the Milton Park area. She formed what is now the largest housing co-op in Canada because when we moved in in 1970, uh, the street across the street was demolished to make room for La Cité. And my mom, being the determined type of person that she is, uh, decided that our house wasn't going to be phase two. It was slated to be phase two of a three-phase project by Concordia Estates. And uh, she got the neighborhood organized. She had meetings in our living room every weekend, every week it would seem. Uh, we had volleyball protests where we blocked Jean Mans Street and, uh, and blocked traffic and played volleyball in the streets. I remember lying in front of bulldozers when I was a kid. Um, my parents getting arrested in protests. It was not your typical upbringing. Uh, she was very good at getting media attention and uh, we did things like, I remember for several years I was the kid on a stretcher for Mondo Bicyclette as they were petitioning for more bike paths in the area. Uh, she was known as a housing activist, but the part that I remember the most was her environmentalism because she was recycling things before recycling was even a word. Uh, she saved everything. She used to say, if I wanted something, she would say, show me something that you want and I'll tell you how we made do without it. So uh, that was her attitude to things. And uh, so she would save everything, meat trays, styrofoam containers, orange juice trays, egg cartons. And a couple times a year, she would show up at my school and she would give them all to my teachers who would do art projects with them. And uh, so then the kids would call her the garbage lady. Uh, but you have to appreciate how much commitment it took to recycle things when there were no blue boxes and everybody just didn't think about that kind of stuff. Uh, obviously as a kid, having different parents wasn't the best scenario. Uh, being named after a Canadian revolutionary wasn't something that I mentioned very often. Uh, we didn't have a TV, we didn't have a car. My friends would go to saint Sever, we'd go to Ottawa to protest the cruise missile crisis. Uh, so growing up wasn't your typical childhood, but uh, obviously as an adult, I have a much better appreciation for just how progressive she was and how much social change and social capital that she built up over the years. In 2013, she was given the Order of Canada and two years later, was followed by the Order of Quebec. She was a truly remarkable woman who changed this neighborhood uh, for the better and will be sorely missed by myself and the hundreds of people who showed up uh, at her memorial.